Hello guys, and welcome to this Cloudlook community video in which we will review the marketplace object and related configuration in the Cloudlook Connect. Marketplace object is the part of the provider level configuration, uh, logically located on the right side of our architectural diagram. And uh, it consists of multiple related objects, uh, which starts from the marketplace itself. Marketplace represents the go-to-market channel that or channels defined by the providers. And uh, those are entirely dependent on the service providers that are configuring it. Sometimes they represent regions, like in this diagram, in this example, uh, United States, Canada, Mexico, Germany, and others. Um, for other providers, it might represent the actual sizing and uh, marketplace is based on sizing, like small office, uh, uh, small medium businesses, and enterprises. For others, it might be uh, actual industries like healthcare, fintech, energy, etc. So uh, marketplaces are, could be very different. Uh, for the purposes of this video, we'll be using just one example uh, related to the regions. Uh, but please, uh, when you think about that, uh, know that those could be very different. Once marketplaces are defined, uh, service providers need to have a certain system to actually uh, go to market. And those are very different systems from um, Shopify to ConnectWise to SAP and Dynamics, uh, uh, QuickBooks and Salesforce or our own uh, CloudBlue commerce system. What's more important is that uh, those systems uh, in all cases manage customer hierarchies, uh, whether those are direct customers or some reseller chain within that system uh, that also has uh, its own customers, uh, they are managed in that uh, system that is used to go to market. Uh, in Connect, we refer to those objects within the system as uh, tier accounts. Uh, in real life, uh, those systems are often uh, not just one system, but a system, for example, uh, spread across different geographies. Like uh, in this example that I'm showing you on the screen, you can see that uh, we have a system instance in Americas uh, and system instance in Europe, um, both managing their own customer tiers. Uh, in more complex and real life examples, uh, it's even more complex when you have multiple systems in the same region. For example, uh, for the purposes of uh, production and staging uh, separation or uh, because of separation by the sales uh, motion and you will have systems for direct sales, system for indirect sales, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, thus, uh, what you see on the screen is a complex uh, hierarchy of objects relationship and connect where you have marketplaces, those uh, go-to-market channels, hubs, the actual systems that are used to operate this go-to-market, and tier accounts, uh, customers, and resellers uh, that are uh, managed by those uh, systems. In connect provider portal, uh, those objects are managed by three different modules, customers, hubs, and marketplaces. And uh, most important one for the purposes of this discussion uh, being marketplaces, of course. Now, marketplaces um, management module uh, is uh, relatively simple. It contains the list of marketplaces uh, that you currently have configured in your system. And in order to create a new one, you need to click uh, this button in the top right uh, corner of the screen. Uh, and this will bring up the dialogue where you need to populate different attributes of the uh, marketplace um, as uh, demonstrated with this uh, screenshot. But most importantly, it contains the actual mapping of uh, configuration of this marketplace to various hubs. And uh, in this example, I have uh, two hubs configured for this marketplace with uh, account IDs um, from that system. When you look at this uh, with uh, like uh, details, uh, those things mean different uh, objects, right? So those are references uh, to hubs. Uh, and in this example, to North America uh, ERP, uh, that is staging instance in North America ERP, uh, that is production system. And it refers to certain accounts in those systems. And technically those are obviously some, some form, some type of reseller in that system. And, uh, when we look at this configuration and like in logical relationship schema, it means that uh, in each of those systems, there is certain account that represents this reseller. Uh, that is the actual United States marketplace 
the one that uh, vendors will be working with. And underneath that reseller, there will be a bunch of uh, customers or maybe a customer with uh, resellers. Uh, but either way, this reseller will be representing the actual marketplace. Now, we support different layouts of uh, marketplace to uh, tier accounts mapping. And uh, let me illustrate just some of them. Uh, the simplest one, the one that we were just looking at in the previous screen, is uh, when there is a reseller uh, on the top level of the uh, hub that represents the system that is linked with the marketplace. And underneath that reseller, we have a bunch of customers. This configuration is simple and is very straightforward. Now, uh, there is another configuration that uh, is very popular and uh, common among our customer base is uh, uh, sub-resellers. Uh, within the top level reseller account, like reseller two and reseller three uh, in this particular example. Those resellers often represent other marketplaces, other markets, uh, and they have customers of their own, right? So kind of in this example, we have uh, uh, reseller two and reseller three uh, owning their own customers hierarchies. All of those configurations are uh, flexibly supported by marketplace configuration manager. Uh, and when asset is being provisioned for uh, some of those customers, um, it's important to understand the relationship between uh, tiers and tier accounts in the system. So what's important is that uh, tiers only exist in the context of the particular asset. Like in this example, uh, when asset uh, is created, uh, this customer will represent the tier zero of this asset. Uh, this reseller will, will represent the tier one of the asset. And uh, this reseller will represent the tier two of the asset, right? So tiers uh, um, is a logical relationship with the asset and hierarchy of uh, tier accounts associated with the asset. And when we search for the marketplace, we uh, find the first marketplace with the lowest tier number associated with this asset, right? So kind of in this example, we will basically uh, connect, we'll uh, traverse the hierarchy of tier accounts and the first marketplace that will be found in this example, marketplace two, will be associated with this asset. Uh, and, and this will allow you to uh, associate marketplace with the proper asset, even if multiple overlapping marketplaces are associated uh, with, uh, with this hierarchy of accounts. And when you look at the asset uh, upon uh, successful provisioning or in the process of provisioning, you will see this hierarchy of accounts. So tier zero will be represented uh, in uh, with this uh, customer uh, column. Uh, tier one will be represented with this uh, tier one reseller column. And we will use this tier one to detect the actual marketplace configuration. Hence, uh, marketplace will be attached uh, to this object. And marketplace is the primary identifier to be used by uh, vendors and uh, everyone for reconciliation and uh, configuration management, etc., etc., etc. So, hope it was useful. For more information, please refer to our Cloud Blue Connect community. Uh, you can go to our website or you can uh, visit our uh, YouTube channel. And uh, when you do that, please don't forget to subscribe uh, and uh, like our content. Thank you very much. I hope it was uh, useful. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.